Well, I am uh, replacing the big blue capacitor in my Gravitar because I'm getting random resets. Now, yeah, this gives me an opportunity to talk about big blues. Um, big blue uh, is is on, is on most Ataris. Now, what it does is it rectifies your pulsating DC current to smooth it out, and it helps it helps smooth out your five volts in the end, uh, which is on your your AR or or, or AR two uh, power supplies. Now, um, how do you know your capacitor is bad? Well, I thought I'd make a video to to make a simple simple demonstration of parts that most arcade guys would have handy. Uh, 9 volt battery and a light bulb out of a coin door. Now, now um, there is a much more scientific method to this, but I'm going to do it this way so it might be easier for anyone to try this at home. Okay. Now I charge both of these up with a 9 volt battery. Now, I have negative terminal and positive terminal. You want to match the negative terminal to the positive terminal and just leave it on for about three seconds. Right? Now, this is a bad big blue. I know it's bad. Okay? Now I'm going to hold that light bulb across these terminals. See how that was real dim? Now here's a charged, brand new big blue. See how that was much brighter? Uh, there you go! How, else, how much more simpler can you make it? Now, uh, in my opinion, you should replace any big blue on any Atari. But there's people out there that are cheap enough. I, I, I'm included in some sometimes that, well, it's like, well, I don't want to go spend 10 bucks and have to wait for it and then have to tear it all apart and whatever. Um, but I really suggest you replace big blue on everything, but I know, I know there are people out there that won't do it. But at least you could do that. If your Atari game is having random resets, or 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 the board might work in in another machine, but won't work in your machine. Um, just uh, think about that, you know. But uh, hold on, I'm going to charge these up again. And where's that one? Now I'll make another example here. Here we go again. This is a, a fresh big blue. And here is a used. An older big blue, but there you go. Um, but at least it'll help. It'll help somebody know that. Okay, I just I just changed this capacitor, but was this capacitor bad? How do I know? Figure it out. <laughs> uh, if you want to, go ahead and, and test your big blue. Now this is brand new nine volt, by the way. A brand new nine volt is uh, it's probably probably around ten volts if you test it with a meter. Now um, you can at least watch the video and test your big blue at the same time but this is a really crude way of testing this but it is a way of testing it and if you oh here's another thing if you ever have a big blue and you shake it and you hear a rattle just replace it you should replace it anyways but that's it you know what this video is not over yet if we're going to talk about big blue then we're going to talk about your bridge rectifier which is this guy right here now, uh, whenever you have this open, you should test this because your game can still work when this is bad. And you can have random resets and, and all kinds of noise and whatever if this goes bad. Uh, or it may not work at all, but sometimes it does work. Okay, let me, let me tell you how to test this. First off, you got to know how to test a diode. And the symbol for a diode... is this right here. Now, you get your meter and you find that symbol on your meter right here. You can see it right there. Now I set mine there. And what you, and when you test a diode, you want the arrow, it's kind of like an arrow to point to your negative lead and your positive lead goes here. And if everything is good, then you should read uh, anywhere from 0.4 to 0.8 you know, depending on the diode, depending whatever. Now, <clears throat> inside this guy right here is actually four diodes. 
So I'm going to draw a picture of what it's supposed to look like, what, what, what's inside it. You know what? That's too small. Let's go bigger. Okay. Okay, now, now normally in, in a circuit like this, your big blue be right here. And right here would be your alternating current. Now many of you guys have seen this schematic many times over. Okay, but in case you haven't, um, you have four terminals one, two, three, four on your rectifier. And what you want what you want to do is you wanna you wanna get your meter across the diode in this this arrangement. And get your meter and move to these this terminal and this terminal. And use your diode in this terminal and this terminal and this terminal and this terminal. That way you tested all four diodes inside that rectifier. So um, by the way the arrows always point to positive. And the other side of the arrows always butt to negative. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to test this guy right here. Now, there's the positive terminal of the battery. So, my arrow's pointing to this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring my meter over here, if we can. And I'm going to test here to here. That's good. So here to here. That's good. So here to here. That's good. Here to here. That's good. So I just tested all four diodes inside that. Now, this may, this may be really simple to some of you guys, but I know there's guys out there that even the, even the simple electronics can be a mystery. And uh, hopefully this helps you out.